In a landmark stride towards self-reliance and technological supremacy, the Indian Air Force has officially launched one of its most ambitious fighter modernization programs, the Super Sukhoi Upgrade. Under this initiative, nearly 75% of the IAF Su-30 MKI fleet, around 200 aircraft, will be transformed into 4.7-generation multi-role fighters, equipped with AI-enabled cockpits, state-of-the-art electronic warfare systems, and the indigenously developed Virupaksh ESA radar. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, jointly developed by Russia's Sukhoi and India's HAL, remains the backbone of India's fighter fleet, with over 270 aircraft currently in service. Each Su-30 MKI is a twin-engine, twin-seater multi-role fighter, renowned for its range, payload capacity, and agility. It can perform air superiority, deep strike, and maritime strike missions with precision. The upcoming Super Sukhoi upgrade will ensure these jets remain relevant, reliable, and combat-ready well into the 2050, forming a bridge between India's current fleet and future platforms such as the Tejas MK2 and AMCA. The Super Sukhoi program, also dubbed Super 30, is more than a midlife upgrade. It's a complete rebirth of the Su-30 MKI. Here are the core modernization highlights. 1. Virupakshgan ASA Radar Developed by DRDO's LRD, the Virupaksh ASA radar features over 2,400 gallium nitride transmit or receive modules. It offers detection ranges beyond 300 kilometers and can track stealth aircraft with low radar signatures up to 200 kilometers away. This marks a quantum leap over the older Russian N011M BARS radar, bringing the jet's situational awareness on par with advanced 4.5 plus gen fighters. AI-infused cockpit and wide area display. The cockpit will feature a panoramic WAD and AI-assisted mission computer to reduce pilot workload. AI will handle functions like threat prioritization, navigation, and sensor fusion, giving pilots real-time decision-making assistance. Upgraded Digital Flight Control Computer Drawing from the Tejas MK2's advanced flight control technology, the new 64-bit digital flight control computer will improve agility, safety, and flight precision. Enhanced computing architecture ensures better control responsiveness and reliability under complex mission loads. Infrared Search and Track System from Tejas MK2 The new IRSD will allow passive detection of enemy aircraft without radar emissions, vital for stealth operations. It enhances tracking accuracy in both day and night missions. Enhanced Weapons Integration The Su-30 MKI will be reconfigured to deploy BrahMos NG supersonic cruise missiles, Astra MK2 and MK3 BVRAMs, and Rudrum anti-radiation missiles. These will dramatically extend its air-to-air -air and air-to-ground reach, making it a lethal platform across mission profiles. Air Chief Marshall emphasized that the Super Sukhoi initiative is not merely about performance, but also self-reliance. The project aims for 70 to 80% indigenization, with critical collaboration among HAL, DRDO, and private defense firms. This will mark one of India's largest domestic modernization programs, valued at Rs 60,000 to 70,000 crore, creating a massive boost for the Atmanurbar Bharat Initiative in Domestic Defense Manufacturing. When complete, the Super Sukhoi will emerge as a 4.7-generation fighter, blending the best of legacy Russian airframe strength with cutting-edge Indian electronics and AI capabilities. It will seamlessly integrate into the IAF networked combat environment, operating alongside Rafal, Tejas MK2, and AMCA fighters, 
forming a multi-layered and future-ready air dominance fleet. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about SU-30 MKI Fighters Upgrade Program in the comments section.